Hey guys, it's Brandon Miniman from PocketNow.com, and in this video we're going to go through the software on the Palm Trio Pro. But before I do, I want to show you two things that I missed in the last video, the hardware tour. The first thing I want to show you is that there's actually an in infrared port on the Trio Pro. You can see it if I kind of tilt the, the device in the light there. There it is. We don't see many devices these days with infrared ports, but Palm decided that it's a uh, needed addition. The other thing I want to show you is where the micro SD slot is, and unfortunately it's behind the battery cover, so if I remove the battery cover and look to the other side here, you can see it, it's kind of right near the stylus silo, in a really hard to reach place, and I really don't like that very much. I prefer, prefer to have it out on the side or on the top or bottom where I can easily swap in um, a new micro SD card. Now if you watch the hardware tour video, you may remember me talking about the screen and how it has this milky white tint over it that makes it really hard to see outdoors, it cuts down on the color contrast, and how black blacks appear on the screen. Well, Palm sent me a replacement unit because they, they were certain that this wasn't the case, and indeed they were right. The unit that I had right here was a defective unit with a defective screen. Let me show you the new version, uh, or the new unit I should say, where everything seems to be much better in order. The blacks are black, the colors come out very nicely. So look at the black at the top of the screen here on the old model and on the new model the black is just much more black. You probably can't tell on YouTube but there's a big difference on this end. So scratch what I said about the screen being defective with low contrast and color quality. It just was a, an issue with my particular unit and palm me good on it very fast. Okay, so out of the box, this is the Today screen that you get on the Trio Pro. You don't get an interface replacement like TouchFlow 3D, but that's okay. This is a professional device, so Palm has kept it clean, which we're fine with. Uh, since this is an HTC device, we get the HTC Task Manager in the upper right corner, which lets you close programs selectively or close all of the running programs in Windows Mobile if you want to get back program memory. And of course, through this uh, task Manager, you can also select what the X button does in the upper right corner. As you know, pressing the X button in Windows Mobile hibernates the program, it doesn't actually close it, and with this program you can change that. So here on the Today screen, we have standard entries, we have a quick tour which will just give you an overview of how to use the Trio Pro. And I find this kind of weird, it cuts off the top of the screen almost as this almost as if it's not optimized for a 320 by 320 display. I can't read the text on the screen, and I'm sure you can't either. This is very silly. I don't know why that is. What you see down here is the weather and the time here in Philadelphia, Tokyo, and Los Angeles. This is a trial version of WorldMate. Um, and unfortunately, you don't get the full version of WorldMate, which is kind of silly. I mean, I just bought this $550 device, and Palm only includes the trial version. But that said, World Made is a good program. This is the main interface. We can click on Weather Center and get um, weather for the next five days. If we click on Satellite, it tells you, hey, you gotta pay for it if you wanna see it, which I'm not gonna do. Um, if we click World Weather, that's something that we can use without paying uh, the price for the software. And there are other things that this program can do which are pretty cool. I'll cover it in the review. Um, there are a bunch of converters that we can use if we're traveling. So it's a pretty good tool if you're traveling. I just wish that Palm would have included the full version of that. So let's go into the Start menu. From the Start menu, we can off open Office Mobile. All four uh, programs of Office Mobile are included, so that's good. Let's go into the Start menu now. Looking down the Start menu, we have Communications Manager. And this is what it looks like. It's skinned with a special palm uh, skin. Looks pretty nice. You can turn on Bluetooth and Wi-Fi and everything from this screen. Uh, we have the camera, and I'll talk about the camera in the review. It turns out it's not that great of a camera. It doesn't have a flash. doesn't have autofocus. It doesn't take great photos, unfortunately. Um, going down the list, Google Maps is included. Uh, we have something called Internet Proxy there, which I'm going to talk about in the review. Um, I want to go back to the Today screen for a second because there's a button here that says Internet. And Internet will take you to Pocket Internet Explorer. Unfortunately, this device doesn't come with um, Opera Mobile or a better browser such as Skyfire. Um, it just uses Pocket Internet Explorer. That said, of course, I recommend that you download Opera Mobile 9.5 Beta. It's a fantastic browser. Um, I was using it earlier and it renders quite well on the 320 by 320 screen. And here we have CNET.com loaded, which is a pretty complex web page. And of course, in Opera Mobile, you can, you can pan around by scrolling. You can double tap to zoom in on a column. It will resize. And it works just really well on the Palm Trio Pro. Now, something I should note is that there's no flick scrolling built into the Palm Trio Pro, which is kind of silly. So if you go into contacts or a long list, 
you have to use the scroll bar to move up and down or you can use the D-pad. That's unfortunate. Going down the list, we have Quick GPS, which is assisted GPS, so that you can get a faster GPS signal when you're using, you know, Google Maps or Telenav or something like that. It comes with remote desktop, which is pretty nice. Using remote desktop on a 320 by 320 resolution screen may be difficult, but if you're trying to retrieve an email or something and you're on the road and you want to get into your home computer, that may be a good thing to use. Going down the list, we have a full version of Sprite Backup, which is good, because Sprite Backup is a really good backup program. We have sounds, which will just link you to the phone settings that we'll access in a minute. But it's a good way, it's a good way to quickly access um, you know, the text message sound, new message, and that sort of thing. We have Telenav, but it's just a trial. You can't um, use the voice-guided navigation as you would have if you, if you actually buy the software. We have streaming media so that we can watch mobile streaming videos from emma.youtube.com. So that's a welcomed addition. And that's pretty much it for the start menu. Now let's go into settings. Here in settings, we have KeyGuard, and what that will do is when you take the device out of standby, you can choose to have it um, require you to do an unlock sequence so that you don't accidentally call your grandmother in the middle of the night. Um, going down the list, we have standard stuff here. We have a full version of Microsoft Voice Command, which is good. Palm's been doing that on all the Trio devices. Over in System, we have Backlight, and there are no settings really uh, for the screen. We can't change the contrast, we can't do auto-adjust, it doesn't have a light sensor, and that's, that's unfortunate. Um, right now it's on medium brightness, and this is what it looks like at maximum brightness, but to save battery power, I'm going to keep it down a little bit. Going down the list, we have, let's check out memory. We have a bunch of programs open right now. Uh, the Trio Pro only has 128 megabytes of RAM, which... Uh, it, it's enough, but if you're doing a lot of multitasking, if you're using Opera and email and other programs like navigation and that sort of thing, you're going to run pretty low and the device may get kind of slow. I'll talk about performance more in the review. And going down the list, that's pretty much it. Um, let's go into connections where we just have the standard bits um, that will allow you to modify Wi-Fi and Bluetooth settings and everything like that. Now something I do like about the Trio Pro, and you'll find this on any Windows mobile device with a keyboard out front, is that it's really easy to dial someone's number. So if I want to dial Chris, I just type his name from the home, home screen or the Today screen, and I see all the matches for Chris. And from here, I can text him, I can call his home or his, his house number, his work number, and everything like that. And something else that's good about the Trio Pro is that you can search Google right from the home screen. Uh, it's an e easy way to look up things quickly without having to launch Pocket Internet Explorer first. So the Palm Trio Pro does a really good job at keeping things simple, fast, and, and minimal, which is good for the business user. But, I mean, if you look at previous Palm devices, like the 700W, it really brought along some innovations that we hadn't seen so far in those days. For example, we could have um, play, pause, and rewind and fast-forward controls for our voicemail. We could do picture, caller, uh, picture speed dial from our today screen. It just had a lot of little things, uh, search from the home screen, that just raised the bar for usability in the Windows mobile world. The Palm Trio Pro is, is very usable. I mean, it's a great device. It just doesn't raise the bar and bring that extra Palm element to the table. So that's about it for the Palm Trio Pro. Watch out for the review on pocketnow.com where we'll talk about battery life, we'll take speed benchmarks and talk about everything good and everything bad about the Palm Trio Pro and come up with a conclusion at the end on whether this should be your next phone. That's it for now.